up the front of their car real bad and sent them down into the median. They're trying to get down to their family to spend the holidays with them. We're out there so you guys can make it to your family. Uh, events, Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's. It gets hard, but uh, it's, it's kind of rewarding too. So you know that other people are getting their families safe. We are on call from October 1st till May 1st. If we know a storm's coming, we usually schedule to be on the road at 4 in the morning. And then if it's bad, we're out from 4 in the morning until 8 o'clock at night usually. I have a little three-year-old that loves me to death. Every time we drive by the house, she asks me to hump, hump my horn and stares out the window and yells at me, there goes daddy down the road. My wife is great. I don't know that I can do this job without her. My wife... I've got three children and one more on the way in January. Yeah, we're in a big yellow plow truck, but we're human too. We all have families and we all got people we want to go home to. You know, at the end of the day, we just want to get everybody where they're going safely. Second day of my job, car size plate me. Went to an eye in an accident. The uh, guy said he couldn't see the truck and didn't know what lane he was in. The highway patrol will give support as far as one person's crashed and slowed out hundreds of other motorists like closing down the lanes and just back to the track and like that. If you're involved in an accident and your truck gets out of service, and that usually pulls a truck from another area, you got to change your schedule with the weather anyway. Normally, if it takes you 15 minutes to work, if the roads are bad, give yourself an extra day. That way you don't have to run. Slow down, we're trying to do our best, and if passes are guilty, you guys can make it work. You know, at the end of the day, we just want to get everybody where they're going safely. Remember to slow down and please don't cross the car. It's called the tow plow. You pull it with a snow plow. The trailer that can go to the right or left has two blades on it and carries liquid de-icer. The tires on the trailer are hydraulically driven. They can turn out an angle, which shifts the trailer out, and you can drop the blade which that'll clear a whole nother lane of traffic. That'll clear an entire 14-foot driving lane other than what the truck has taken. So the purpose is to take two lanes with one truck and driver. As you plow it off, you put chemical down behind it, and it's one pass, and it's treated. Everything on the truck is bi-directional. The, the trailer can go right or left. There's wings on the truck that it can go right and left. It's very universal. We can uh, have one driver do the work of two so we can take that truck that would normally be going on the interstate through town, we can send him out on a different route to get, just to speed air the process of snow removal up. Primarily this truck will be on the multi-lane interstates from the Renner exit to the T exit where it's four lanes wide. So we'll take up two of those lanes plowing. This is the first one for the state of South Dakota. All of our neighboring states have them. North Dakota, Iowa, Minnesota, Nebraska, they all use them. The extra precaution would be slow down, whether the tow plow's out to the right or left, you should be able to pass it. If there's three or four lanes of the interstate, you can still go around us if we're not blocking off the interstate. We travel at 30 miles an hour. We won't drive any faster or slower with this than a normal snow plow will go. Drive slow, drive cautiously. It's no different than a snow plow out there. It's just we're taking two lanes instead of one this time. When you come up on us, use caution and don't crowd the plow.